As the economy began to tank, a man from Baser, Kansas, decided to trade his lucrative career to become a street vendor. Marissa Cleaver explains why his finances changed dramatically. He found something more important. Making tamales is a laborious process. Bruce Swab and his wife Susan spent at least 12 hours on Mondays and Tuesdays stirring, mixing, and rolling up tamales. This batch here today, I'll do. Uh... I'll probably do 90 or so of these beef machaca, and it'll probably take me two, three hours. Once they're all cooked, the swabs come here to the Overland Park Farmer's Market, where they run the tamale wizard stand. They sell gourmet tacos and tamales for breakfast and lunch. It's blue corn masa with gorgonzola cheese in the middle of it. Topped with fried eggs. This really satisfies a creative need that I have, and, and uh, I get to plan the food. and. I love cooking. Bruce opened the stand in April after leaving his six figure job as a tax accountant. I make a fraction of, of what I made before. I'm just trying to, to pay the bills. Susan says it was clear he needed a change. Bruce was so unhappy. He was not laughing anymore. He'd lost his sense of humor. He was so unhappy it was affecting the whole family. Now he smiles constantly. The healing has happened. He's having a blast. The couple's favorite part is the customer. You want lunch or breakfast, honey? Who rave about the food. It was so good, I almost ate the husk. For Bruce, this small cart brings great joy. He says this is as good as it gets, and that's money in the bank. Marissa Cleaver, NBC Action News. Well, they do look delicious. Now, Bruce Swap says he has no desire to open a restaurant. He's looking at moving to the city market or buying a food truck.